What is up? This is Rakdar. Welcome back to another episode of Mystical Ninja starring Gilman. And uh, as you can see, we are somewhere where the music is freaking awesome. And as you know, I can't get enough of freaking awesome music in this game. Seriously, I don't know what uh, was going on with like the weird ass uh, mix of music that. Uh, what is it? Konami? That Konami decided to put in this game, but it changes from like classical Japanese to like funk to like. Oh, um. Can I even jump? Oh, I bet. I should know this already. I bet I can destroy the boulders because they're probably like the ones on Mount Fuji. They are destructible, so we gotta climb Mount Fumbura. Oh, whoa. What is good? What's traditional geisha mask things. So should I just run past them? I mean, I really don't care. Oh, is this the coffee shop? Let's, oh, I can't just read the sign, and once again, I can't read Japanese, so I'm going to... <gasps> it's She said Kyo coffee shop, though. What's that thing moving about the stairs? Oh, that's so dangerous. Okay. So apparently those stairs aren't usually like that. Your strength is already okay, so I, I thought maybe that would like some destiny is my son for resident of here for many, many years. Alright, cool. I never imagined the stairs leading to Mount Copper would be this long. I'm never going up or down these stairs again. So does that mean he's just stopping right here? I mean As long as he's got enough money, he's got a big supply of stamina dumplings. You know, I'm gonna try just out of curiosity. So I'm not 100% sure how the whole warping thing works. Let's, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if, uh, the warping works. All you have to do is, like, walk into the coffee shop once. Let's see. Alright, so there's Oedo Town, Transformed Oedo Castle. There's Kai's Coffee Shop, Zazen Town, Key's Coffee Shop, Foki Book Village, Compra's Cup. Okay, cool. That's actually really useful to know. So basically... All you have to do to warp somewhere is walk into it once, which is awesome. And we'll just watch this just for the hell of it. That is pretty sweet, actually. We get to see these sweet fives of tens of octagons of graphics, or polygons. Check out those polygons. Are we in the future? I actually time traveled, um, from 1992 uh, to the year 2011 but um, the family that cryogenically froze me spent all the money on the cryogenic freezing so all they could afford was an N64 but I still feel like I'm in the freaking future with just an N64 so okay let's see uh, if I can oh. I wanted to can she Oh crap, stop. I had a crap switch weapons. I was gonna see if this this girl can uh if that if I have my theory about my theory about um destroying the boulders is true. Cause I'm hopefully I'm right. This is so weird, like the geisha mannequins. We got like snitches, geisha mannequins, dragon heads, um little Okay, let's see. Oh cool, so you can destroy the rocks. Ah! Ah! Oh, and we can also get hit by them. The mix of enemies in this game is ridiculous. I'm sure maybe it has something to do with Japanese culture, or probably not. It's probably just Konami was like, let's make a crazy game with crazy enemies. Oh, and here we are, I guess, at the top of the stairs. Let's find out. We're here to worship Umbra Mountain Grounds. Oh, it's very... Very quiet here. Let's read the sign. Welcome, Kampira Shrine. All right, so we are officially welcomed. I can't read Japanese, but let's find out what's in these little doors. Okay, what up, dude? Let's talk. Pretty gloomy past. I finally come to this place. Does that make me a nihilist? Um, I don't know. Do Do you want to destroy? All institu- like, I don't see that's very just enlightened, just kind of like settled at a shrine. 
I mean, nihilism. I don't know. I don't even want to get going on nihilism right now. I studied philosophy in college for like three years. And uh, I don't know if that means. Oh, it's called Piranha Campari, not Camp Campari. And that's beside the point. Put five Rio into the offeratory, offertory chest. If you do this, you will receive help from God. Okay, so this is whatever help. Um, something's talking about getting the gold, and if the gold is spent for good, then the, it's probably something we have to do. All right. Um. Oh. <gasps> I bet I know how to do this. Okay. And. Wait, oh, yep. We get to use my favorite weapon. God of money. I've here received your medal of justice. Okay, so that's what the money is called in this land. It's not Rio. Rio is short for. Medal of Flames! Oh, that's wicked sounding. Super cool. By continuously holding on the B button and then. Powerful metal surrounded by flames, the torch. Oh, we're gonna have some. What? Okay, let's. I don't. Or maybe it's only. Okay. Oh! That's wicked! I ruffle you, you, game! So now we basically can throw flaming money at people, which is like... Okay, so... We can warp back to the coffee shop. But, um... Like, the coffee shop was just a little bit down. We can't warp back to Folky Poke Village, because I don't think I actually went... into any part of the village that I needed to go to. I like how that kind of, uh, the dragon thing just kind of warped us to, uh place in the game where I don't even really know what's going on. I mean, I do. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's like, it was just weird to me that... Uh, oh, I was gonna throw a flaming... I was gonna throw a flaming metal! I don't know why they don't just call it flaming money. I was gonna throw a flaming metal at that dude's face, but it didn't work. Alright. Okay, so now we're down past the coffee shop. I'm glad that there's not, like, rocks falling from behind us right now. I guess I could have just. Mm, I don't know if it would have been faster to warp. It probably would have been faster to warp to the coffee shop. I forgot how many staircases I went up after the coffee shop. Is that what's behind me? Oh no. Okay. Oh, we're almost down. Alright, cool. So I guess we're gonna go to Filky Folk Village, and the next thing we need to go is. Dodon. Dodongo's. Hot Springs? Dogo. Dogo Hot Springs. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! Oh, I'm not gonna get that in my head again. I'm gonna guess that we need to light a torch to get to the Dogo Hot Springs. You know, oh, or maybe we need to light these, let's see if we can light these hay bales on fire. Is that even what these are? Oh. Wait. Oh, I have to wait? Okay. Let's see if we can... This is what you get for farming! How dare you! Alright. Well, what does this guy say? Let me tell you something. That blue dragon is really a very kind and gentle fellow. Well, you're telling me. It gives me, like, free trips wherever the freak I want to go. Which is totally sweet. Totally sweet! Alright, so we got a lot of farming going on. This guy is not working hard like the other guy, he's just being lazy. Because for the person that finds the children- ooh, ooh we got okay. Mental note. Come back to this dude once we find the kids. It'll probably be like a silver fortune doll or something. If Zelda has taught me anything about video games, dragons are those mythical creatures that come out of- mm, Really blow fire? No, but I blow fire. With money, so this building apparently is somebody's house, I guess, because otherwise I don't think it serves any purpose. Let's check out some more buildings. All right, I guess that's the only building around here we have. Oh, I'm trying to find the Dogo Hot Springs west of here. Okay, because it's closed for okay. Um, west. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so. 
it's west. Oh, but I already came out of that door. Well, maybe it's through this door and then west. All right, or maybe non-yellow doors don't lead out of places though. Oh, this is a murder restaurant or is that armor? <gasps> we can, oh, it's five attacks. Really? Oh man, that's it? Whatever. Does it? I... That'll be all. Let's see. Ah. We don't get to. Should I? completely honest I thought I thought I was gonna be able to see myself with the armor on I guess I guess it's not so bad wouldn't that have been totally cool can you just picture freaking Goemon walking around with sweet metal armor on this game is totally stupid no I still love it the children of this village have been kidnapped. Oh, I already knew that. Wait, so it's both villages. When you pass the village gate, you will get to Compra Mountain of Sanuki. Unless you pay a visit to the shrine at Compra Mountain, the children may never return. Well, luckily for me, I did pay a visit. Okay, we got some. I hate airplanes, and that's why I choose to be transferred at the tourist center. It was a heck of a lot more horrifying than airplanes. Oh, so this will take us somewhere. Let's talk to this girl. Victor Center. Okay. Hmm. You want to be transferred? Not now. So I'm not going to transfer, but I will mark it in my head with a little circle here that this place will transfer back there because I think. I admittedly, because I haven't played this game before, I was looking up some stuff online. I think there are some more uh, secrets that I can get if I go back to uh, the Awaji Tourist Center. Um, there's like something called Turtle Island that has some. My son Fritito was kidnapped as a folk with the singing and the dance and the jello with the singing and the dancing and the jello pudding. Pokemon with the Pokey and the Mon and What's in here? Oh, it's another restaurant. Dude, I feel like these villages either have bustling economies or terrible economies. Like they've got that's, I can't read the Japanese on there. It probably just says like whatever the bill it probably says in. What does an in let us do? Oh, the, oh, I don't change mind. Okay, what's okay? What can do? Spend the night? Adventure to? Okay. I don't. Oh, I think different rooms allow you to heal different amounts of health. Maybe I'll try that out later. But for now, I've got full health almost. All right. So the hot springs are to the west. So. Let's see what it is in the- oh, there's no sign. I was gonna say, let's, let's see what's at, over to the east first, but we'll just go straight. Whatever. Let's just- let's just do it. Let's just jump on in. Going west. Oh, then we gotta go through another little zone, but luckily there's only one exit to this area, so I pretty much know where to go. I'm gonna- dude, I'm gonna fireball one of these guys. You know, that made a cooler death animation, but since they die in one hit anyway... Oh. Why am I still using my money to kill stuff? For some reason, that is like my favorite way to kill things in this game, is by throwing my money at it. Like, you'd think I'd want to save my money, but... Because so far, I've really seen no use for money in this game. Alright, so the obvious way is that direction, but I'm gonna go this direction because I want to see... If maybe we go around back, we can treat ourselves to a silver fortune doll, and we can't. Oh. I guess this area is pretty small. Like, if there was a silver fortune doll to be found around here, I would have just seen it. Well, maybe if we go down in the water, but 
If I go down in the water, do you think there's a way to get out? Hey, you know what? They wouldn't put it there if there wasn't a way to get out, right? Now, it turns out this is actually, like, game over. Once you do this, uh, you are stuck for the rest of the game. Wait. Alright, uh, I don't actually... Where is the room? Can't I... Oh, <laughs> I was actually like, is that like the most intense glitch of all time? The glitch that just lets you die permanently and never ever regain your spot in the game? That would be terrible. But I guess, I mean, if you had saved in your adventure diary, then it wouldn't matter, right? I don't know. So anyway... This whole area is just full of cock-walking areas that totally look like you think they would be silver dolls, but there's totally not because it's terribly designed. But I'm going to end this episode right here, and I will see you next time!